Good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to this devotion time just for a few minutes. Uh, in the book of in the letter of James chapter 5 verses 17 and 18 we read these words. It says here Elijah was a man just like us. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain. On the land for three and a half years. Again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. My brothers, if one of you should wander from the truth, and someone should bring him back, remember this. We will stop at that. My main su subject is of meditation is the verses 17 and 18. It is about Elijah's prayer. Now, so the prayer of Elijah is a prayer of faith. You know, prayer of an ordinary man accomplishes extraordinary things. Now you can repeat it with your own mouth. The prayer of an ordinary man can accomplish extraordinary things. That means your prayer can accomplish extraordinary things. First step in victorious living is prayer. Prayer for everything. Along with giving thanks, there must be prayer without ceasing. And it is that kind of prayer that James is talking about. James 5, 13 to 18 talks about prayer of faith, prayer of repentance and confession, and a prayer of confidence. I want you to notice certain things about Elijah's prayer. Elijah's prayer could shut and open heaven. And yet we all know that Elijah was not an angel. He was not God. He was not uh, some superman right from heaven. He was about an ordinary man. He could easily get disappointed and discouraged. And that shows how human he was. He was not a superhero. He was just an ordinary person, a man like you and I. And he, he could easily get disappointed and discouraged. He could easily give up. And he said once, I am ready to die. Yet when he prayed, he prayed in faith. Is anything too hard for the Lord? The answer, of course, we all repeat, no, nothing is too hard. So there are two, three things I want you to notice about, mainly two things. Prayer of faith will be specific and definite. When you pray for certain things, if you really want to get the proper answer from God, you need to be very specific and definite what you want exactly. You go to a shop, for example. What do you ask? Now you give whatever you want. Do you say that? No. The shopman, the salesman asks you what is your requirement, what do you want? You don't say, well, Whatever, just like that, whatever you want to give, give. You don't say that, do you? You ask for specific things. You know what you really want and why you are visiting a shop. You don't ask for some unspecified quality or quantity of rice. You will specifically and I want this particular rice and I want these many kilos. 
Be specific when you pray. That is very important. You don't know, sometimes, many times, we have people coming to church and at the conclusion of the church, people have a habit of coming forward and they, many people come just to greet and others come, Pastor, please pray for me. And uh, I ask, what do you want me to pray for? What, what is your... Just like that. Pray. See, that is, that is not, you know, that is, I cannot pray anything specific. You don't seem to have any need. But if you have a need, you particularly say, Pastor, I am having this problem or I am needing this blessing. I need, uh, my examination is coming or my marriage is to be settled. Something very specific. And so be specific when you pray. Let God know what your desire is. Some people even pray, Lord, I need a car. And they have even the color. I want this particular car. And uh, I want this color. You know, you tell that. So the second thing I want you to notice is, besides being specific and definite, prayer of faith will be prayer of persistence. And that means, do not give up. Do not give up. If you read Luke chapter 18, verses 1 to 6, you read about some widow coming to the judge. And she started crying out. This judge was someone who neither feared God nor respect for any man. He didn't care about anything or anybody. But she came there asking for justice. And uh, so he uh, she started she started crying out standing Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up he said in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared about men and there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversity. And uh, for some time he refused. And she, she came several days asking for justice, but this church never cared, never bothered about this, this widow's cry. But she would not give up either. She was persistent. She would not give up. She refused to give up. Though this man doesn't care. So she kept on coming. And then the Bible says that finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care about men, Yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. What is the Lord's teaching is? Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones? who cry out to him day and night. My point here is, my friends, when you pray, not only you pray specific prayer and definite prayer, you also be persistent in your prayer. Don't give up. You refuse to give up. Elijah prayed for rain. He sends his servant seven times to look towards the sea. Any clouds are coming up. 
and he returns with his report no sign of rain the servant may have doubted but elijah was persistent he would not give up all six times he kept on sending this servant to look six times he came back stating no sign whatsoever but the seventh time he went and came back there is a small cloud rising up like the size of a man's hand that was enough for elijah he began to hear thundering and he began to see lightning he began to see and hear the sound of a heavy mighty rain why elijah was persistent how about hanna the last in our last meditation she was a subject Anna would not give up praying year after year year after year she went to the temple pray and day after day day after day she would not give up her prayer was very specific and persistent my friends look at what the bible says concerning her prayer she prayed for a son that is important you know if you are if you are childless you are desiring you want a child and of course many people uh, you know give this common answer well whether it is a boy or a girl whatever god gives but i want one but hanna was very specific i want a son and the second thing was i want a son who would serve the lord the whole of his life whom so she was praying for a son meant to serve the lord and serve the lord in the temple so she wanted a son without defect and no deformity perfect mentally physically spiritually and emotionally and in every way and that's what she got she got what she prayed for and even before she conceived she dedicated him to the service in the temple and so you can imagine how happy god was to give her a son in perfect health in perfect shape and a perfect in every way and he definitely served the lord wonderfully he became therefore the first prophet as well as the first priest judge she was both the priest and judge she prayed granted her request beyond her expectation god bless you my friends this god is your god this god is my god let us be very specific and definite and let us be persistent and earnest in asking god for any specific blessings that you are looking for and those who and also if you want to get answers from god remember what jesus said in john's gospel chapter 15 and 14 there he said if if you remain in me and my words remain in you then you may ask anything and it will be given to you and this is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit and thus the world may know you are my disciples so remember in order to receive an answer 
you must first allow the word of god to abide in you and then you abide in him remember that it is not that you ask and you shall receive but here is a condition god bless you my friends god is faithful and when you pray remember you pray specific prayer definite prayer and you pray persistently and let god be pleased with you and he will grant you if earthly fathers are willing to give good gifts to their children how much more our heavenly father will delight to give us the blessings that he has for you and you will never be disappointed god bless you today is a great day enjoy your day and remember to glorify god before you sleep